Thank you, Lord. Well, praise God. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastor Jose and Patricia, welcoming you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben, a church yeah. you can call home, a church where we teach the word. Amen. Praise God. A church that honors God, loves family, serves others, and pursue excellence. Amen. 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 So praise God. We just want to welcome all our family, our NBC family, all our visitors, and all those joining us by audio or video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. Yeah. Amen. We're going to have fellowship afterwards. And I'm telling you right now, I'm preparing myself Amen. to partake <laughs> of the good food. But you know what? That's a physical food. I want yeah. some spiritual food. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Amen. Amen. You spend time with him, partake of what he has for you. Amen. Amen. If you don't have anything, if you don't get anything, it's not his fault. Right. He says, I'm knocking, right. but you're not opening. We need to be opened up. Yes. Amen. Uh, praise God. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and He wants to correct you. And yeah. don't leave the same. You know, when you spend time with Him, you shouldn't leave the same as you were before you visited That's with right, Him. Man, right. I mean, you should leave in power. You yeah. should be ready to knock down some, some giants. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're not a weakling. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You're a mighty warrior for God. Amen. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. So, prepare yourselves to receive. Well, I want to read you a, a, a scripture break. That I put on Facebook, but it goes something like this. Some of you have already read it. You know, some of you already seen it. It says, We need one another. We're yeah. talking about the body of Christ coming together in unity. Amen. Just like this physical body yeah. works together in unity. Every part. We don't compete, we compete right. one another. Yes. Amen. And this body functions great and it functions in unity. Yes. We need one another. Start every day by being faithful and available for God. Yes. He has called to you, every one of us. If you don't know, I'm letting you know right now. Yeah, yeah. Every one of us has a call. You're not here by mistake. That's it. I mean, the, the world, people have been telling you, you're a mistake. Yeah. No, you're not. God has called you, yes, anointed yes. you, and appointed you. Amen. He's equipped you for such a time as this. Yeah, right. All you have to do is spend time with him and say, Lord, what is it you want me to do? Amen. And he will tell you. Amen. You already have his approval. Don't wait for man's approval. He's not looking for perfect people. That's right. He's looking for available people. Yeah. Are you available? Are you making yourself available to him? Mm. The reason you ain't doing it, you, the reason you're not going anywhere, doing anything, and feeling the way you feel is because you're not making yourself available. Yeah. Amen. He wants to empower you to go where you need to be. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. So, Let's join together in the body of Christ. We are the body of Christ. We are the church. We come, assemble ourselves together here together to be empowered, to go out as an army of God and do what he's called us to do. Amen? Yeah. But we come together as a body united in him. One body, many parts. Big or small, you have an important part. If you never heard it before, you hear it right now. God has a part for you. But you need to spend time with him. Get to know him. And wow. find out what is the part that you need to do. Yes. Big or small, it doesn't matter. I'm serving him. Yes. I am pleased just to serve him. Amen. Yes. And to follow him. That we're going to be yes. talking about that. When the body of Christ comes together and function as one, we're beginning to see the manifestations of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. in full measure. Yes. Amen. We want the Holy Spirit to have control. Yes. Have control of us. Have control of this service. The devil and all his demons won't be able to overcome the church mm -hmm. make yourself available to him and yeah. have a part in this so serve follow him in faith and unity yeah. i'm not competing against you we're competing one another we're here to but complete one another amen complete. we're not we're, we're not competing we're completing amen, amen. <laughs> we're god's winning team uh -huh. get on god's winning team yes if you see yourself a loser all the time if people tell you this or if the world's telling you this, it's time to change teams. Uh -huh. Get on the winning team. Get on God's team. That's if you're it. still on the on the losing team, it's because you keep confessing mm -hmm. and magnifying your problems yeah. instead of magnifying your God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Know your God. Yeah. Spend time with Him, and you'll know. Amen. So praise yeah. God. So you're on God's winning team. We need one another. Team is together as the body, as the body of Christ. Together, everyone achieves, accomplishes more. Yes. And the Bible says you can do all things all through things. Christ 
who yeah. strengthens you. Amen. Yeah. We haven't even got to the word yet, but I'm excited. Amen. You can say amen. I promise we won't keep you long. <laughs> keep listening. <laughs> so praise God. <laughs> Grab your sword, soldier of God. And let's make this declaration together. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Let's make this declaration together. This is my body. I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking to the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never do the same in Jesus' name. Amen. If you never heard this before, you'll hear it right now. Your mind is a battlefield. We're fighting a spiritual battle. And you cannot do anything unless you're in the word of God. Unless you're using the word of God. You're fighting a spiritual battle. We need God. We need the word of God in us. Amen. And we need to speak it out. Don't be shy. It's not time to be shy. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So praise God. Be bold. Hallelujah. If you want a title, I guess I can give you one. It says, follow Jesus. Amen. Thank you, praise team. A few minutes ago, we sang, I have decided to follow Jesus. You know, it says, I personalize that and make it Jose yeah. has decided to follow Jesus what about you when are you going to do this you got to make this decision yourself yeah. I have decided to Amen. follow Jesus and the song says there's no turning back right what do I want to go back to amen St. Right. Corinthians 517 says the old is out the new is in uh -huh. Amen. you know whatever old stuff you was hearing it's new things now. I'm a new creature in Christ. Why? The word of God says so. So I'm not going back to the old. I'm pressing on. Amen. That's the soldier of God. We're going to press on. Press on. Amen. So let's look at, have a fresh look at, at, at what it means to follow Jesus. And the hunger and thirst for more of him. I need him more. That was another song we sang. I need you more. More than yesterday. Amen. So, praise God. But if I need him, we all need him. Amen? Amen. So, we must commit, serve, press on, and follow him on a daily basis. Amen. 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 You need to write this down so you can see it everywhere you go. Amen? I must commit, serve, press on, and follow him on a daily basis. Amen. Not just once in a while. Not just when things are going good, but all the time. Amen? Amen. Here's a prayer for you. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. For more of you, the way. Fill me to overflow. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but that's okay. Right. It's good. So, follow Jesus. Keep going. I have decided. You yes. need to confess Him as your Lord and Savior. Yeah. If you never accepted Him, it's it's time. It's you. Yeah. You know I'm talking to you. Where you're watching, you're listening. Yeah. You, it's time for you to receive him as your Lord and Savior. Yeah. Amen. Whatever the world, whoever says, uh, so-and-so said, you can't be used anymore. Uh, he don't want anything to do with you anymore. It's a lie. Yeah, yeah. Decide right now. Lord, I need you. Yes. I need you. I want you. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? He won't turn you down. That's it. Amen. It's time to get busy. It's time to stop making excuses uh -huh. and come to him. Amen. Keep going. Hallelujah. This is what we have right now. You can write these down. Amen. You can go read them later. Yeah. Matthew 16, 25, uh, 20, excuse me, 24, 25. Then Jesus said unto his disciples, If any man mm -hmm. will come after me, let him deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. Mm -hmm. 25 says, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall uh, lose his life for my sake shall find it. Amen. Amen. These are some great scriptures. Amen. We need to feed on these things yes. so we can be empowered. Amen. Amen. So we can be empowered, be ready to go when he says so. Go to the next one. Mark um, two, well, three gospels uh, talk about this. And this is uh, Mark's version here. It says, uh, Mark 8, 34 through 38 says, Then he called his crowd to him along with the disciples and said, If anyone... Mm -hmm. That's your, amen. That's me. Amen. Anyone is us, amen. Yes. <laughs> if anyone would come after me, uh -huh. we must deny him, him, must deny himself, and take up his cross and follow me. Mm -hmm. Following Christ, I have decided to follow. Mm -hmm. And thirty-five says, for whoever wants to save his life will lose it, yes. but whoever loses his life for me 
and for the gospel will be saved. Amen. Amen. Save it. Praise God. Amen. Man, these are these are good. Yes, Praise God. God. Yes. Luke 30, uh, 9 verse, excuse me, Luke chapter 9, verse 23 says, And he said unto them, All, if any man again will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. Mm -hmm. Take up your cross daily and follow yeah. him. You know, yes. and press on. Yeah. That's as man, that's that's awesome. John 10 27 says, My sheep hear my voice. voice. Amen. And I know them, uh -huh. and they do what? They follow me. me. Amen. So we're to follow him. Yes. We're not to just stand still, sit, and do nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be busy for God. Amen. Amen. Stay busy and do what he's called you to do. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Psalms 23 and 5. Uh, we're familiar with Psalms 23. Amen. Let's open it there. I like Amen. that. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Psalms 23. We teach the word of God here, okay? Yes. We don't do... We don't do our own thing. We do God's thing. Amen. Amen. So it's the shepherd's song. And uh, let's read the whole thing. Amen. It says, The Lord is my shepherd. shepherd. Amen. I shall not want. He maketh me to what? Lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me besides the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, you are walk through the valley of shadow death. I will fear the evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. As thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies, thou anointest my head. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in my heart forever. Amen. Well, I was going to tell you about verse, verse 5 in the King James. And uh, New Living uh, Translation says, You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. Yes. My cup running <laughs> over. Amen. Yeah. Going to the next one. Here we go. Here's your cup. <laughs> cup ain't coming. All right. All right. My cup. My cup overflows with yes. blessings. Right. Psalms 23, 5. Uh -huh. And here's your blessings. Health. Grace. Peace. Uh, beauty. <laughs> Uh, protection, <laughs> talent, yes. all these things, strength. Yes. Yes. My cup runneth over. Yes. And you know, when you fill yourself with the Word of God, mm -hmm. you know what happens? Yes. Your faith grows. Yes. Your fears yes. go out. Amen. Amen. They have to go. Because if you're full of faith, you ain't got room for That's fear. Right. That's right. And I'm going to be obedient to what God wants me to do. Yes. And He says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. So I'm going to step out in Faith. Yeah. I'm not going to step out in fear. Mm -hmm. You know, I told Peter to come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't walk on the water. He yeah. stepped. He stepped out mm -hmm. and he started walking on water. Yes, he he's did. telling us to come, come. All right. Amen. He's telling us the same way. Come. But you know, yes. we're still holding back. Yeah, we're holding it's back. It's not time to hold back. It's time That's to it. be loose. It's time Amen. to go for God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, you <laughs> Amen. My cup runneth over. Yes. And you know what? When you fill yourself with the word. When you're full, guess what? It's got to come out. Yes. So you have to speak it out. Uh -huh. You have to speak it out. And good. Yeah. If we fight a spiritual yeah. battle, the Word of God is yes. what what we need. Uh -huh. Amen. So praise God. And that's what the enemy will put the put put the enemy in and run. Yeah. Submit yourself to God. Resist the enemy, and he will flee. Yeah. So you're gonna speak the word. You said authority. Yes. And the enemy's got to go. Yes. Amen. He's a defeated foe. Yes, he he's a scary cat, okay? You just give him authority and you ain't said nothing, so yeah. guess what? He's just gonna hang out with yeah. you. Yeah. Don't let him hang oh, out with oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> My cup is over with blessings. John yes. 10 10 says this, following Jesus, it's talking about the seed cometh not but for to the steal yeah. and to yeah. kill and to destroy. He says, I come that they might have life and then they might have it more abundantly, more plentiful amen. to overflowing uh -huh. amen that's abundantly mm -hmm. plentiful and overflowing thank yes. you lord amen he amen. wants to bless you amen i want to follow him we want to be followers of god amen let me see keep go to the next one there we go empty yourself and let god fill you to overflow but you got to empty yourself you got to get yourself off the throne and put god on the throne yeah, I've decided yeah. to follow Jesus. That means 
you taking yourself off and you taking the controls off uh -huh. and you're giving them full yes. control you're surrendering totally to him and you're letting him be your lord yes. you're saying you yeah. amen yeah. praise god <laughs> one of the greatest problems in church now listen we can do something in church we're talking about <laughs> us the body mm -hmm. one of the greatest problems in church today is we lost our love oh, our hunger oh, our thirst goodness. for more of him mm -hmm. amen and it shows okay mm -hmm. we come expecting to be entertained just like oh, the world no, no. Mm -hmm. we come to be empowered we come to encourage one another lift each other up yes we don't come just to sit and That's it. Well, you know, hey, I, I didn't get nothing out of this. Well, guess what? What attitude did you come with? Yeah, amen. Well, you come with an attitude to receive? <laughs> Lord, you have something for me. I ain't going to let you go until you bless me. I ain't going to let you go until I, I hear from you. That's my attitude. Yes. I'm going to be focused. Yeah. Amen. If you come with an attitude and say, well, you know, uh, casual, I don't want to be bothered. Well, guess what? Nobody yeah. will bother you. <laughs> He ain't going to force his way on you mm -hmm. because you ain't open it. Mm -hmm. So if you want change, that means I got to change. Ain't nothing wrong with him. That's the problem it. is here. <laughs> I got to change. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Oh, my. Go to the next one. I've got a few who says, oh, come on now. God wants all your life, not just one hour a week. Oh, man. Man. Nobody throws stones now. <laughs> Everybody loves passing. God wants all of you. Yes. Okay? He don't have no stepchildren. Yes. Right. Amen? We were adopted into God's yes. family. We're stepchildren, but he don't call us stepchildren. He calls us his children. Yes. Amen? But he wants all of you. Full time, not part time. And we're going right. to be talking about lukewarm. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Amen? Keep going. This is lukewarm. <laughs> don't just go to church. Be the yeah. church. Yeah. That's right. We are the church. We got to get this right, you know. Yes. We got to get this right. We're the body of Christ. Yes. We're the church. He said, "Yeah, we're the body." Yeah. And what's he gonna use? The body. Us. Uh -huh. Amen. So don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Yeah. yeah. And be available when he comes to knocking. Because yes. he wants to use you. Yes. Amen. If he hasn't been using you, it's because you're closed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to open. Amen. For the next one. Here we go. Here's what I wanted. Yep. He don't need fans. He needs followers. Oh, that's right. Amen. Amen. He needs followers. We're moving from a fan to a follower. Oh, it's man. time you stop being a fan and it's time to follow. follow. You know, when you follow him, that means when you come around the crowd that's talking against, oh, are you a Jesus uh, freak? Yeah. freak? Are you a Jesus follower? Yeah. Yes, Absolutely. I am. <laughs> and they, they confess the wrong things and you hear it. And they don't want you to confess him. Mm -hmm. uh, it's time to, I'm a follower. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. You know, disciples, they flew when when they came and arrested Jesus. Mm -hmm. Are you one of them? Oh, no. Mm -mm. Uh, who? I don't know him. Don't be a pretender. Yeah. Don't be part-time. Be for real. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Woo. <laughs> Church, stir up. Be hungry and thirsty for God yes. that you will seek him with all your heart. Yes. As you daily follow Him, yes. Amen. You, you know we gotta stir ourselves up. Yes, we do. Nobody's gonna stir you up. You know that good food, that good stew. You know you gotta stir it up and get all them little flavors in there. We gotta stir ourselves up on a daily basis. Because you know what, your flesh don't want to do anything. No, it doesn't. Your flesh just want to be comfy. Amen. I'm telling you. And we're getting older and older. You know, it's, I mean, more comfy. <laughs> I need more comfy time. No, yes. you need to stir yourself up because your flesh is weak mm -hmm. and it's going to stay that way. You got to feed your spirit, man, the word of God. You got to renew your mind with the word of God. You're bombarded with negative things on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you're not renewing your mind to the word of God, you're going to fall. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's called weak. It's called part time. It's yeah. called lukewarm. Oh, we want to get away from that. Amen. Because mm -hmm. the enemy loves that. <laughs> we got to stir ourselves up. Stay hungry, stay filled, stay empowered. Yes. You know what? One thing we learned in the military is we got to stay battle ready. Yeah. Amen. You don't wait. Yeah. Say, wait a minute. When, it, when, the, when the war breaks out, 
let, let me go practice. Let me go with China. No, no. we got to say battle yeah. red. Yeah. It's all about in the spirit also. Yeah. Get the word in you. I'm building up. I'm studying. I'm meditating on the word. Amen. I'm not letting anything sneak up on me. That's good. Yeah. You know what? God uses people. Mm -hmm. Enemy uses people also. Yeah. David was a man after God's own heart. Acts uh, 13, 23 says, And when he had removed them, he raised up for them David as king, to whom he also he gave his testimony and said, I have found David, son of Jesse. Mm -hmm. Jesse. <laughs> a man after my own heart, who will do all my will. Yeah. Remember yeah. this. And I've said it before. David. A little shepherd boy. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesse didn't know what to do with him. He says, you know what? Just get away from me. Just go over there and watch the sheep, you know. Mm -hmm. Take care of the sheep. <laughs> the world tells you this. The family tells you this. Friends tell you this. They just say, you know, you're no, nobody. You're no good. Just go over there and hide yourself somewhere. Be, uh -huh. be nothing. You're nothing. <laughs> they tell you these things. And they gave David a little meaningful job of shepherd. He took it serious. Yeah. He's taking care of his sheep. Yeah. The shepherd is a pastor. Yeah. He's taking care of his sheep. And when says when the when the, when the when the lion came, when the bear came, yeah. he said, God saw me through. Uh -huh. I said all that to say this. If you consider a little shepherd boy a nobody, uh -huh. God promoted him yes, to be yeah. king of Israel. Yes. What's he gonna promote you to be? Mm -hmm. But you got to see yourself this way. You got to have an attitude of a winner. Yeah. You got to have an attitude of a champion. You just can't be little nobody. Mm -hmm. If you see yourself that way, you're not seeing yourself the way Jesus sees you. That's it. That's right. You got to see you. You got to see yourself the way He sees yeah. you. Amen. Amen. And when you start seeing yourself the way He sees you, yeah. you're gonna start doing and accomplishing things for Him. Say, hey, you know what? I've decided I'm going to follow Jesus. Yeah. And I'm going to stick with it. There's no going back. Where do I go back? To the old life? No. You already know that's no good. Excuse me. Yeah. Stay stirred up daily as you follow him. 2 Timothy uh, 1 6. You write this down. It says, Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gifts. Mm -hmm. Every one of us has gifts and talents God has given us. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We don't have to compete against one another. I don't have to copy you. He made me an original. I don't have to copy you. And the, the gifts you have is not the gifts I have. So I don't have to go and try to challenge you or compete with you. I can do what he's called me to do. Yes. And you yes. need to find out when you spend time with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know yeah. what you excel in, you know. <laughs> I can't play an instrument. But some of you can. Some of you are real good at it. Yeah. Whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. But you'll find out as you yes. spend have a relationship yes. with him. Mark twenty, uh, excuse me. God allows us to go our own way, Amen. Yes. That we may grow in hunger for more of Him, Amen. Uh -huh. Woo, God alone can satisfy your hunger and your thirst. Mm -hmm. John tw uh, seven thirty seven through thirty nine. I'll read it to you from the Amplified. Now at last and most important day of feast, Jesus stood and called out in a loud voice if anyone is hungry let him come to me and drink yeah he who believes in me who adheres to trust in and rely upon me this is the amplifier as the scripture has said from his innermost being will flow continually rivers of living water yes. yeah. but he who speaks of the holy holy God, holy spirit uh -huh. whom uh, th um, those who believe in him as savior were to receive afterwards. The Spirit had not yet been given because Jesus was not yet glorified. He had not raised to glory yet or honor. So we need to follow Him yes. and draw closer to Him Amen. and He will draw closer to us. Be strong in Him. Yes. Amen. Yes. Be strong in Him. Amen. When you know how much God loves you, you get a revelation of God's <coughs> love for you. You'll grow hunger and thirst more and seek and love and serve and follow him. Yes. Amen. This is what Satan wants to do. Mm. This is a false discernment of who God is. We won't be seeking him, mm. won't be knowing him, and we won't be having a relationship. Why? Because you're not fellowshipping with him. Right. Because you're not following him. And mm. 
the enemy sees to it that distractions are there all the time. All the time. And distractions are going to be there all the time all on right. a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we got to take those stumbling blocks of hunger and thirst yes. that might be broken. Right. Mm -hmm. We got to fix that, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And you can fix this yourself. Mm -hmm. Spend more time with Him. Yes. Amen. Be intimate with Him. Have a relationship yes. with Him. Yes. Let Him love and transform you as you become available to Him. Follow Him and give Him your best. God gave His best. He sacrificed His only begotten Son. And Jesus came knowing from the time that He came on earth that He was going to be sacrificed. On a daily basis, Lord, I need your help. Lord, I need your strength. Father, He says, Father, I need your help. I need your strength. If Jesus called the Father, guess what? We need, Lord, we need to Father, we need your strength. Amen. Just to press on on a, on a, on a daily basis. Amen. But they gave their best. We need to give our best. You know, when you're just being part-time, when you're just being lukewarm, <laughs> say, hey, you know, hey, things are slowing down right now, so we're just going to kick back. Being lukewarm, and we're going to talk more about lukewarm. Here we go. He said, "Don't be a part-time Christian who demands a full-time God." <laughs> a lot of us do this. We can't do this. Amen. If you want full service from Him, then you be full-time. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's it. We're too easily satisfied and distracted by the worldly things. Amen. Right. So we got to be careful. <laughs> I call them leaky Christians. <laughs> leaky Christian, you know what a leaky Christian is? <laughs> he is a part-time, lukewarm, defeated Christian. That's pretty bad. You call yourself a Christian, but you're defeated. You don't know the word. You can't confess the word because you're empty. You got to stay full. We got to stay yeah, full. Yeah, yeah. If, yeah. if we're, if we're going to speak the word, and if we want to fight this spiritual battle, we gotta have, we gotta be full. We gotta have the word in us. Yes. Because when we have it in us, it's gonna come out. Yeah. It's gotta come out. I mean, you can't help it. You just gotta say it. Yeah. Amen. When I was full of the world, the things of the world came out of me. I'm not there anymore. Amen. I feel myself. I've changed that. These Christians, renew your mind with the world, with the word. Stay attached to the mind. Yeah. The fountain of living water. Yeah. Stay yes. full to overflowing. Uh -huh. Amen. So the word can come out and let it flow from us. Jesus out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Amen. You got to let it out. If it, yep. <laughs> you want to say it, you know, just let it out. Speak it out. It's the word. He says, word goes out from him, you know. He says, I speak it and it goes and accomplishes what I said it to do. Amen. So we need to do the same thing. Amen. Release it and go. Let the word do what needs to be done. The word, words are seed, are containers of life and death. Amen. So death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the, the words you speak. So be careful in the things you say. Yeah. If it doesn't agree with the word of God, don't say it. Amen. Amen. Speak the right things. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Don't retain and remember the words. Always leaking out. Mm -hmm. Leaky Christians. <laughs> Let me see. Go, go to the next one. <laughs> That's what they... Yo. Put your button down just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Part-time Christians cannot defeat a full-time devil. Amen. Amen. We're talking about lukewarm now. That's right. Yes. Okay, we're talking about being lukewarm. You cannot part-time... Lukewarm Christians cannot defeat a full-time devil. And he is full-time. And you ain't no match for him without the Word of God. Amen. Hunger and thirst for more of him. Remember, us leading Christians, we need to spend time with the potter. Who is the potter? The potter, he fixes Amen. the cracks. He fixes the cracks. Amen. He Amen. stops the cracks. Spend time with the potter so he can patch all the cracks makes us new. Of course, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 talks about, you know, new, new creature in Christ. Yeah. Amen. I don't have to. Don't let the word leave. And don't wait till you run empty. Stay full. You know, 
when if you go on somewhere and you go on a trip, you put gas in your car because yeah, you can't go anywhere. You can't go anywhere without. You can't take that car if it ain't got if it doesn't have fuel. Right, amen. Us, we travel every day. We got to stay full. Amen. We got to stay full, so we can be full of power, full of His power. Yeah. And opposite of hunger is satisfied. Yeah. Yeah. Satisfied is average. It's an enemy. Don't settle for average life. God, want, God wants us to press on. Press on, mighty soldier of God. God wants us to launch us from the bottom, wallowing with the pigs, scratching with the chickens, past the middle to the top, soaring with eagles above your problems, above your distractions. But you have to do something about it. You're the one that has to feel Amen. You're the one that has to read, to study, meditate, make time to do these things. Amen. He wants you above. He wants you up. He wants you to be a winner, not a loser. Amen. Again, magnify Him and not the problem. Hmm? Praise God. Complacency. What's complacent? Self-satisfied, uninterested, unconcerned. Now, this is opposite of hunger. And of course, I saved the best one for last. Amen. Lukewarm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Keep going. There you go. Got a warning for you. <laughs> Lukewarm Christians. Warning. And of course, in Revelation three sixteen. So then, become because now are lukewarm and neither uh, cold nor hot. I will spew you out of my mouth. I've got a little. To say about that in a few minutes. <laughs> Luke, lukewarm, mm. unenthusiastic, yeah. half-hearted, mm. unexcited, mm. unimpressed, no, boy. unaffected, yeah. indifferent, unmovable, oh, boy. and just cool. <laughs> <laughs> These are not good. Mm -hmm. This is the enemy likes this, but enemy. I mean, God doesn't like this. He right. says. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, he says, I will spew you out of my mouth. Mm. Keep going, Kurt. Oh, oh yeah, let's read this. Lukewarm Christians. <laughs> no lukewarm Christians in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Oh, Go past that. Uh -huh. Keep going. There we go. Uh, spiritual passion. On fire for God, that's hot. Mm -hmm. Lukewarm is just a pretender, part time. And cold is just say, hey, you know, I just want you to know, I reject Christ. At least he knows. But when you're just straddling the fence and yeah. saying, well, you know, I'm just pretending mm -hmm. to be part time here, mm -hmm. he says, uh uh, I'm going to spit you out. Keep going. That's it. Here we go. Lukewarm, <laughs> spew to discharge the contents of your stomach through the mouth. Oh, means Jesus. vomit. Amen. To eject from the stomach through the mouth. Mm. Vomit. To gush out or pour out. Mm. To pour out of your or hurl, hurl forth violently. <laughs> in, in case you don't get it either, I just <laughs> put a few others right there. Bark, yeah. be sick, puke, sick, <laughs> throw up, up, chuck, vomit. God used the word. Yeah. I just wanted you to know what he was saying. Mm. Yes. Amen. Yeah. He says he'll throw you out. He says, mm. I can't I, I can't taste this. Here. I don't mm. want this. That's it. If he don't like it, mm. guess what? Don't you don't like it. Yeah. Don't spend time there. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be, I don't even want to pretend to be lukewarm. Yeah. yeah. I want to stay. He says, hot I can take. Cold I can take. But don't try to play yeah. this. Don't try to pretend mm -hmm. this. Amen. Mm -hmm. We need to get this. Church, stay hungry and stay hungry and thirsty and follow him on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Praise God. I have <laughs> I've said that enough for us to grab it. Amen. <laughs> you gotta be hungry and thirsty. Maybe I'm ready for the fellowship. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't feel strong desire for the manifestation of the glory of God, it's because we have not been hungry and thirsting for more of him. We've been nibbling too long at the table of the world. Amen. Amen. We've been getting too much of the world into the church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're 
too worldly now. Can't let that. Amen. Can't let that. Our souls are stuck with small things and there's no room for greatness. No, I want God's best. And you want God's best. Amen. Yes, oh, praise God. Here's a few examples of uh, hunger and thirsting and following Jesus. Amen. Genesis 5 24 says, Enoch walked with God. Yes. Then he was no more because God took him away. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. And you know what? You're God's favorite child. If you don't know, you know now. I'm God's favorite child. You know. I said, wait a minute. No, I am. No, you're God's favorite child. And Enoch was walking with God. And guess what? He was gone. The Bible says so. Genesis 5:24. Yes. So guess what? It's okay. One of these days, he said, we're gonna be thirsty and hungry for him, and we're gonna be serving him and following him, and he's gonna come. And we're going to be gone. It's called rapture. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to be gone. Hallelujah. So don't stay behind. <laughs> lukewarm. No no lukewarm mm. Christians in heaven. <laughs> yeah. Only half of you can't go. Mm. It's all of you or no of you. Mm. <laughs> stay hungry, thirsty, and walk with him. Genesis 6, 9 says, We read, it says, Noah was a good man. The more innocent man of his time. And he walked with God. Yes. We know about the story. Noah listened to God and obeyed. He stayed hungry and thirsty for more of yes. God. Yes. Amen. God chose Noah to build him an ark. Mm -hmm. He didn't even know what an ark was. He didn't know what mm -hmm. flood was. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know what? He's called you to do some things. And you're trying to figure out what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Just trust him yeah. and step out in faith. Yeah. Right. Amen. And he'll feel the rest. You might have you step out of, of the water in, into the water or off a cliff or something. Mm -hmm. But he'll say, Trust me. Yeah. And he says, Trust me. Guess what? Yes. Thank you. You, you're going to step. Amen. Amen. Just yeah. like I did here. Jeremiah 7 23 says, This is uh, told about them. Mm -hmm. Obey me, and I will be your God, and you will be my people. Mm -hmm. Only do as I say, and all will be well. Yeah. Stay hungry, thirsty, walk with God as we obey Him and continue to be His people. No matter what circumstances, no matter what problems, amen. Greater is He to send me than He to send the world. And I'm going to confess over this thing. Yes. And I'm going to overcome this thing. Micah 6 and 8, you, you know all these. I'm just I'm just reading them to you. Mm -hmm. so, oh, my people. Well, I'm going to let me read it to you from the uh, Amplifier. <coughs> he has shown you, oh man. What is good and what does God and what does the Lord require of you but to do justly yes. and to love kindness and mercy, mm -hmm. to humbly humble yourself and walk humbly with yes. him. Amen. Yeah. Woo, man. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. things that we need to live on a daily basis you got to be careful uh if you're a casual christian mm -hmm. we're talking about lukewarm now full of excuses i'm sure god has heard all the excuses mm -hmm. he and he hears them all the time leaky christians we want fuzzy warm sermons on sunday mornings <laughs> <laughs> that may carry us through some of the days or some oh. of the weeks for so many years, but there's cares, there's troubles, mm -hmm. there's problems, worries, yes. doubts, and fears. Yes. We must be careful. Seek hunger and thirst for more of Him. Be strong Christian, yes. not a casual yes. one, yes. not a part-time one. No more excuses, no more leaking yes. out. Yes. If you're leaking out, mm. you need to stop the leak. Yeah. You need to stop the leak. Yeah, if you need power, you plug yourself to the source, mm -hmm. to the wall, the socket. Man, it's got some juice in there. Well, I need to get empowered. I need to plug into him. Amen. Mm -hmm. But I'm not letting myself. You know when you're running low. Mm -hmm. And it's time to fill in. Yes, yes. Amen. Because you start smelling like the world. You start talking like the world. Mm -hmm. And you start doing what the world's doing. Yes, you say, yes. no, 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 no. It's time to get back on 
GPS and get back with God. Uh -huh. Amen. And start Amen. doing what the Word of God says. Amen. Amen. He says you can do all things through all Christ. Things. But we can't allow ourselves to just go empty and then just test. Mm -hmm. You know, because the enemy comes to steal, kill, he and destroy. destroy. Amen. And we don't want to go there. Stay filled. Stay ready for full service. Yeah. Stay yeah. battle ready as you follow <laughs> and serve him. Battle ready. It's a, it's a spiritual battle. You're no match if you don't have the word in you. That's it. Amen. Spiritual, we're physical. Yeah. And you ain't going to do nothing in a spiritual battle. That's it. Be a warrior, not a warrior. Yes. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a difference. Yes. Amen. You can do, you remember this all the time. You can do all things through all him. All things. Amen. Amen. Through Christ who strengthens you. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Strong Christians, deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow Jesus. Mm -hmm. Commit and wealth. Sacrifice, passion, and risk. For sacrifice, deny yourself. Yeah. For passion, take up your cross mm -hmm. and follow him on a daily basis. For risk, following him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. You don't know until the time comes yeah. that you have to say something. That's it. Amen. But I'm not saying don't be ashamed. Mm -hmm. He's saying, Jesus says, to be my disciples, you must deny yourself, pick up your mm -hmm. cross, and follow me. Amen. The cross of passion, the cross of companion. Mm -hmm. Compassion, excuse me. Compassion. Man. Mm -hmm. To experience God's best in our lives. Commit. Have a relationship with Him. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. That's the thing about Christianity. Christianity yes. is relationship. Yes. Amen. Know your God. He knows all about you. Yes, and he still loves you. Amen. He knows all the bad things about you. But he still loves you. Mm -hmm. We need to have a relationship to get to know our God. Amen. How do you know when he's talking? Amen. Amen. You need to know him. And that's what the world and that's what the enemy mm -hmm. tries to use. Yeah. Distractions yeah. to get you away so you won't spend time there. Right. Get closer to God. And of course, hunger and thirst for more. Yes, thank you. I want to read this to you from the Amplified in Ephesians. If you open your Bibles to Ephesians, and we read this before, but I want you to see it. I don't know if you have any uh, Amplified, but get you an Amplified. Ephesians, uh, excuse me, uh, yeah, Ephesians uh, chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. You know, because I used oh, yeah. to do this, I used to say this, no. nobody can change me. Mm. And the world says the same thing. Nobody's going to change you. You don't want to change, but read what the Word of God says. Yes. The Word of God says, and Amplified says this, uh, Ephesians 5, chapter 1 and 2, or verses 1 and 2, excuse me. Chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. It says, therefore be what? Followers. Followers. Be imitators of God. Be imitators of God. You hear God going around getting himself no. whatever? No. no. Do you hear him say bad things? No. no. It says copy him and follow his example. Yes. I want to change. I want to follow his example. Yes. How do I get to follow his example? How do I know? Well, you, 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 you get to know him through opening his word. Yes. Amen. Opening his word and reading his word yes. and getting Amen. in his word. Now we're spending time. And now he's talking to me. And now I'm going to be like him. I'm going to be an imitator of God. As well beloved children imitate their what? Father. And verse 2 says, And walk in love, esteeming and delighting in one another, as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a slain offering and a sacrifice to God, for you so that it became a sweet fragrance. Amen. So it tells you right here. I've had people, more people tell me, you know, so I, I, this is the way I'm, I am. Nobody can change me. Nobody. Well, you're not allowing yourself to be changed. You're not even allowing God to come mm -hmm. in because you got shut the door. Mm. Your door is closed. Yeah. You know, you can talk all about God and say things about God. And I watch this. I, I say this. Mm -hmm. But you're not letting him come in. And he's going to change you, surrender yeah. yourself, and give yourself totally to him. Mm -hmm. If you're going to follow him, you got to be... Follow his example and be an imitator of God. Right, right. That's what people are looking at. People are watching your words and your actions. Mm -hmm. 
And I've said this before. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people ever uh, ever yeah. see or or, or re read mm -hmm. or come close to. Yeah. yeah. Because they'll never step in a in a place like this. Mm -hmm. But when you go out into the world, mm -hmm. you'll be out there where they are. And are you, are you still hot, or are you lukewarm, or are you cold? This is up to you. We got to stay fully charged. We got to yeah. stay full. Amen. So God is ready to use us at any time. Mm -hmm. I'm ready, Lord. He says He's going around looking. Yes. Yeah. Are you are you, are you ready? Mm -hmm. You don't want you half ready. He wants you full. Re fully ready. Amen. <laughs> Don't forget to assemble ourselves together in, the, in Hebrews. It talks about assembling ourselves together yes. here in a place. This is not the church. This is a church building mm -hmm. where we assemble ourselves together. Mm -hmm. But we are the church. Yeah. I went to church. No, we are the church. We are the body. I want you to get this. Yeah. Study and meditate. <laughs> On the word, second, uh, second Timothy, uh, chapter. Uh, let, let's 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 go there. Second Timothy. I'm gonna read it to you. Right after verse Timothy. Chapter. Chapter two. Chapter two. Verses. Uh, I want to read it to you from the Amplified. Fifth, uh, Fifteen, sixteen. Oh boy. Study. Be eager and do not and do your utmost to present yourself what to God approved, tested by trial, a workman who has no cause to be ashamed, yes. correctly analyzing and accurately dividing, rightly handling and skillfully teaching the word of God. Truth of truth, the word of truth. And uh, sixteen says, But avoid an empty vein and less I am useless idol. Mm -hmm. Talk for it will lead people into more and more ungodliness. Yes. So we must be careful. What we need to do what? Mm -hmm. It's my choice. I need to study to show myself yes. approved. That's yes. what King James says. Yes. Study and show yourself approved unto God. A workman need to not be the same. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I have a part to do. And you ain't gonna get it in you any other way. That's it. You gotta open it up and read it for yourself That's it. amen That's it. and get it in you and yes. then start confessing it yes Thank you. and all the other things you used to say now you confess the word mm -hmm. amen let the word of god come out <coughs> amen yes. and okay. listen when you get full of that <laughs> you'll be hungry and battle ready for god mm -hmm. part-time christians are no match to a full-time devil yes. again you can write that somewhere well <laughs> i say i don't want to be like this Walking in the supernatural. Mm. When you walk in the supernatural, it's his super with your natural. Yes. And you're going to do supernatural things for him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Make a strong commitment to commit, to serve, and to follow him. Stay hungry and yeah. thirsty for more yeah. of him on a daily basis. Yeah. Stay away from being lukewarm or being yeah. casual or just being a leaky Christian. I don't want to be a leaky Christian. <laughs> I want to hold on. Amen. If there's any cracks in me, Lord, fix them. Yeah. I don't want to leak out. But you know, the enemy comes and he's following. He yeah. said, you're confessing the wrong thing. Yeah. And we're opening doors for the enemy to come yeah. in. That's the biggest, the biggest leak you got. He's confessing yeah. the wrong things. And that's where the world comes in. Yeah. Amen. So you have to be careful. Not to fix that leak and start confessing the right things and not the bad things. Amen. The wrong things. Yeah. Praise God. He wants our relationship with Him to be the light in our heart. Amen. We can make this exciting and not dreadful. Amen. <coughs> Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Amen. Nehemiah 10, and the letter part of it, and the lower part of it says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. It is your strength. Amen. So some of us just need to be more joyful. People want to be around you. They see the joy of the Lord yes. in you. Uh -huh. Some of us have been frowning too long. <laughs> Come on. We need to smile. Yes. <laughs> stay charged. Stay focused. Stay hungry. Yes. For more of Him. Stay full. Yes. 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 You know, when you stay full, you're going to step mm -hmm. out in faith. You're yes. going to step out in victory. Yes. Amen. You are going to be the winner. You're going to be the champion yes. God wants you to be. 
<clears throat> Matthew 5 and 6, I'll read it to you for the Amplified. We're almost done here. Matthew chapter 5, verse 6 says in the upper 5, Be blessed and fortunate and happy and spiritual prosper, spiritually prosperous in the state in which we, uh, born again, a uh, child of God, enjoy his favor and salvation. It says, Are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, uprightness, and right standing with God, for they shall be completely satisfied. Mm -hmm. This is the Amplified, Matthew 5 and 6. He gives us four good reasons to stay hungry and thirsty for more of Him mm -hmm. as we follow Him. Mm -hmm. He says, we'll be blessed, yeah. we'll be fortunate, yeah. we'll be happy, mm -hmm. and we'll be spiritually prosperous. Amen. Amen. I want these things. And you know when you want these things, you just got to do something about it. Yeah. You have a choice. What choice yeah. are you going to make? Yeah. I choose to follow him. Mm -hmm. I have decided. That's what we started. I have decided to follow Jesus. Amen. Amen. What about you? He, those of you watching, those of you listening, this is your time. Your your time yes. to come to God. Come home. Come to God. Yes. You know, if you never accepted him, it's time now. You know? Yes. All you need to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Mean, come yes. into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. He won't reject you. That's it. He'll take you. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's time we make that choice and start living for Him. And start being followers of Jesus. Amen. Put the world behind us. To say, yes. I have decided to follow Jesus. Yeah. And there's no turning back. Okay. I don't want to be go. I don't want to go back to the old old stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, I remember, but I don't have to go back. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Let Amen. the past go and don't let it be a prisoner of your past. Yes. Amen. Just press on. Says the cross before me, the road behind me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna press on and do what he's called me to do. Amen. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Praise Stay you. hungry. Stay thirsty for more of him. Amen. Praise God. Father, we just thank you for your precious word. We thank you, Father. Ooh. Thank you, Lord. You have come. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Come, change us. We want to be more like you, Father. <coughs> Father go to Ephesians. I want to be chapter 5 verse 14. Be imitators of evil. Father God, thank you that we can do all things through Christ with strength. Amen. I receive this word right now yes. for myself, Father God. Yes. In Jesus' precious name. So, child of God, if you never received him, it's time to receive him. Yes. Like what I just said a few minutes ago, just receive him. Ask him to come in your life and be your Lord and Savior. Amen. Yes. Praise God. And if you heard him, just ask him. Lord, your word says, by your stripes I'm healed. So I'm receiving my healing right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know, he says, this body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. And I'm not receiving any malfunctions in my body. And I'm receiving it for myself as well. Yeah. By his stripes I am healed from head to toe. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. So, as we close, it's time to give. Those watching, listening, you look at our website, it's on the screen here. It says NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Martha, Texas, 79843. Yeah. Amen. God loves you and we love you. God bless you. Amen.